welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is Vera I am here today to share with you what my cosmetology kit looks like if you don't know I go to Paul Mitchell the school um, I'm now a creative I've been a creative for a sorry I just was eating some nachos but I have now been a creative for maybe a week and that's basically just the last step in the program before you take your mock exam and go on to take your state board test so that's exciting but I thought it would just be a really nice time to I thought it would just be a really nice time to show you guys what's inside my kit. It's This is by no means a video that shows you what your kit looks like when you first get it on your very first day of school. This is more so a video of what my kit looks like now, like that I've it's been lived in. I've been using it, I've upgraded some things, taken some things away, added some things, so yeah. Let's jump right on in. Well, I was about to die. Okay, guys, so this is my big ass kit. <laughs> it's like huge. Um, I'll try to get some better pictures to show you. But yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is the bobby pin. A regular pen anything I might need and then when you open it up this is where everything goes one thing I really like about Paul Mitchell is just the cute extra touches they add on to things so when we started we got a number of different brushes and combs and each one has a number and the numbers um, they mean um, what's the word I'm trying to think of the numbers have a certain significance like of an important date so like 424 this is comb number 424 and I can't I don't remember what happened on 424 but you know so the dates are either like the founders birthdays or um, the day um, John Paul died and just different stuff like that and I, and I just think it's really cute but yeah and then we also have these things up here that you can use to um, keep things and next it's this little pouch here and when you open the pouch I have my reusable gloves, my latex gloves for color, and I have loads of different clips. So you get 10 of these metal clips in school. You may have more or less depending on how much you steal from your other future professionals. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not steal, but you know, borrow or say you lend some to someone that needs them and they don't give them back. Maybe it's not intentional. I don't really know, but... I'm not gonna tell you guys how many of these I have because I may have taken some from someone, but it, it it evens out because I don't think people give me mine back all the time too. So then I went out and bought these. These I believe are called alligator claw clips. I might be making that up, but I really like these because they can grip more hair. They grip more hair. And yeah, I got the I got the Paul Mitchell ones from SSG and then I had some colorful ones. I can't find the other ones. I only have this one left and I got those from Sally's. 
and I also keep bobby pins and stuff in there too so this is the razor that we get and it doesn't have a number on it it's just a razor so and then I just have like a few little chopstick things I saw a girl use these um I saw a girl use these um when did I say girl use I saw a girl use one of these in a salon forum and basically a salon forum is when they have platform artists from local salons come in and either do makeup or you know hairstyles or just talk to us about the industry and one was doing um, I think color and use these to wrap up the girl's hair and stick it in there and I really liked it. I felt like it was a lot easier to use than clips. So I went to um, SSG which is a local professional beauty supply store and got some. So yeah. This is not the detangling brush that came in the kit. This is one I got from the beauty supply store. They do not give you color brushes. These are color brushes. This came with a zebra print one and this one came with this one came with one that has tapered bristles which is better for hand painting so this one came with the one that's good for hand painting here's my zebra print one but yeah and it's stained but that's that's okay i'll just add it in there too actually <clears throat> then we also get one of these um this is 814 this brush or this comb is just a rat tail comb that we use and then we also have the metal one they call this one the foiling comb because you use it when you're doing foil work and this one is 429 this is my color book this is our pocket guide for coloring hair and when you open it up we'll just kind of go from left to right this first panel just shows you like the paul mitchell the color um, Paul Mitchell the color XG which is more vibrant shades and everything and this here shows you like this shows you what the percentage of grays look like and different hair textures like coarse medium fine and then when you go over here it just shows you the different stages of lightning how you start from red and go all the way up to that pale yellow at the bottom. So when you ask a guest that wants to lighten their hair, you know, how light they want to go, you can kind of show them that and it gives them a guide because like we discussed in, you know, school, someone could say they want their hair blonde, but say I take them this blonde, this is not what they wanted. So it kind of helps you all stay on the same page. And here's the next part. This shows you dominant pigments and it goes from 1 all the way to 10. And then this here shows you their natural level. Say someone's natural. Okay. Say someone's natural level was 5, but they wanted to be up a few colors or they wanted their hair to be bleached a few levels up here to maybe a 7 or 8. The the color that lives in that level would be this orange yellow so on the other sh other side it just shows you the demi and the pm shines and the different types of lighteners that paul mitchell uses and my absolute favorite part is the back like i seriously feel like if you can master understanding this color wheel and how to go across the color wheel to cancel out colors and you know tones and shades to get the color that your guest wants then you're good to go but yeah I mean the other stuff is important too but this pocket guide it's really helpful when you're first starting out and in school and learning after that I'll start with my tools because there's a lot of tools in here and the brushes are kind of lined up to the side. This is a flat iron that I use and it's the um, Neuro, the Neuro 1 inch. We originally got um, just a regular Paul Mitchell uh, flat iron and I believe it was one and a half inches. 
So the original Flatiron looked something like this, but it was just black and had Paul Mitchell. Um, this one came with their Enchanted line. I got it because it came with a set. So you got the flat iron, um, a curling iron, and a curling wand along with the brush, which I'll show you later. But this, but this set was 50% off because I'm a student. So I, t I did tell myself that while I'm in school, I'm going to buy the things that I like because I'm only going to be able to get this discount once, you know, well, not once, but while I'm in school. So like once I get out of school, I'm probably not going to be buying a whole bunch of Paul Mitchell tools and hopefully I'll have, I'll still be able to use the ones that I purchased in school. But if you can see here, just how much smaller this one is than this one. And then I'm going to turn it to the side. You can see the difference in the plates. How this one is dull and ceramic. And this one is more shiny. And it's titanium. And another big difference is this one shuts off at automatically. They're both digital. So they both have digital dials to the temperatures. I believe they both go up to 410. This one might go up a little bit higher. And this one I know for sure shuts off automatically. I don't think this one will shut off automatically. It might. I don't remember because I don't really use it a whole bunch because I'm using this one solely because of the size. I have no problem using this one. A lot of girls at school like to use this one. <clears throat> it's just I prefer this one because of the size when you're doing hair you can get closer to those roots when you're doing those flat irons I mean yeah when you're flat ironing hair doing silk presses iron work as Paul Mitchell professionals would like to call it this is the curling iron that goes with the set that I was telling you guys about it is not um, digital it goes up to 430 I don't exactly remember what size the barrel is and I really don't use it a whole lot but I do keep it in my kit because I don't have my Marcel curling iron that came with our kit and if I can find a picture I'll insert it right there so you can see it this is my blow dryer I use the neuro grip it's hands-free I really like it nothing fancy about it um, it it's very lightweight it um, does dry the hair really fast and um, it, it's supposed to have this technology where it dries hair from the inside out and that has something to do with keeping the cuticles down and sealing in moisture so it's supposed to be better for your hair than other lower grade blow dryers I really like it I can I do notice the difference in the cuticle being closed because I notice it's shinier it's a hair is a lot softer and it's very detangled when I'm blowing hair out so that is a plus I can't go back to the regular blow dryer that was in our kit because it's so heavy and it's so big and I like not having to hold on to a handle so yeah it's just heavier Blow drying was a pain in the butt before I got my new blow dryer, but yeah. Here's my spray bottle. Nothing too serious. Got it from Sally's. I like that it's a mister. So it doesn't just spray that heavy amount of water. I'm crazy. It doesn't spray like that heavy amount of water on your hair or whatever you're trying to spray. But in our kits, we get these. And it just says Paul Mitchell's, just branded with Paul Mitchell. And it's tin metal <clears throat> made in China. Remember what I said about the clips? Same thing for water bottles. I have three water bottles. I don't know how I wound up with so many water bottles. So I probably have someone's from school. Taylor, Keisha, hit your girl up. I um, probably got your water bottle. I don't know. I don't use mine, but just again, like this is just an average old water bottle. Nothing 
nothing special about it these are the scissors I have these are Han Hanzo shears um, they did not come with the kit I bought these separately and again you get a student discount when you buy them and you can also it's not 50% off though because it's not with the Paul Mitchell company or brand it's through Hanzo and um, they do offer discounts to students and it's you can do like a payment plan so because they're expensive so that's what I did and these are what mine look like and they're green because green is my favorite color and I got the double swivels so that just means that this part rotates let me see if I can show you so it, it swivels this way and it also swivels this way so yeah, like you can see here, it does all this weird, funky stuff, so you can cut it like that. Mm. Yeah, so you can just do all sorts of dangerous things with scissors that you're probably not supposed to be doing. So if you get these, keep them from your kids because they'll cut something. But yeah, these are the scissors I use. use I'm left-handed, so these are not left-handed shears. These are right-handed shears, but since they have the double swivel, you can kind of use them on whichever hand you want. For me, using these has really helped me as far as um, time when I have guests coming and getting their hair cut because when you're in school, we literally have to get everything like checked by a learning leader so if I have someone getting their hair cut I will do a consultation with them get a learning leader do a consultation with the learning leader have the learning leader come over to talk to the guests as well then after you shampoo them you section off for your cut you get the learning leader and you know show them your section and everything you start cutting you check in with your learning leader so there's so much and you know I've really grown to love cutting but in the beginning when I first started cutting I um, I was constantly bugging a learning leader because I wanted to make sure it was right I wanted to do it right and you know just I don't want to mess up anybody's hair so I was constantly getting a learning leader and every time I would get one they would say okay well let me see your shears and it just wasn't working out because none of them were left-handed so they'd be like oh let me go find someone shears and so they're busy too I already had to wait to get you to check this haircut now I have to wait for you to go get some scissors or some shears that you can use because I'm left-handed and I have left-handed shears so but it's much easier now I can just hand them hand them these and go on with my day and I'm also happy to tell you guys that I have not been needing much help with my haircuts lately and even if they do check them they're only snipping off like this much so that makes me feel a lot better you know like things are clicking in my brain and the light bulb is on so that's good so I got those and then I also have another pair for dry cutting which are these and again they're the same double swivel so I have two cutting shears two texturizers but again that is something that I decided to buy these are the shears that we got in school so you see here we get like a small six inch I think this might be a six and a half and then we get texturizing shears and the oil to clean them and there's absolutely nothing wrong with these shears like I like I said before I personally just wanted to upgrade my kit and it's a lot easier for me when I'm on the floor I don't have to stop and wait for anyone and I'm sorry I forgot to mention the Hanzo shears I have the green ones are six and a half or maybe a seven and the other ones are just a six so yeah but um yeah there's nothing wrong with the Paul Mitchell shears and I really like the case that they come in 
I'm not going to not use them, but when I'm at school, it is a lot easier for me to use my Hanzo shears. And I've just gotten used to the double swivel and they're really sharp. They're great scissors. So that's just what I use. This little buddy, um, I don't know exactly the um, metrics on this. I don't know exactly how thick this is. I know it's just got an off and on button. It goes up to 410 degrees. I'm sorry, that's the only degree it goes to. So like when you turn it on, it's going to 410. Most people use this for like spiking hair and stuff like that, but I use it to get edges, baby hairs, any small parts of hair that needs to be straightened is what I use these for. Again, these did not come in my kit, but with my student discount, they were like $20. No, maybe it was 20 without the suit. It might, I think they were $10. Yeah, something about that. But I really like them. I don't, I try not to use these if I don't have to. And if I do use them, I only use them on the edges, like those areas, those hard to get areas I told you about, just because it goes up to 410. Okay, next up is brushes. These are all of my lovely brushes here. I, you get this little thing here and it has hooks on the back so you can hang it up on your so you can hang it up on your kit like that and this is what my little brush handle thingy looks like this is all the brushes we get we get a medium size round brush a small one a Denman brush um, this little sculpting brush, a detangling brush, and I also went ahead and purchased this brush here, which is just the bigger, um, it's the extra big jumbo round brush because some people like a lot more body and then some people just have really long hair and I'm not going to sit here trying to play all day blowing out um, a girl's hair with this medium sized brush and again I got it 50% off so I was like sure why not and it just fits right on in there with the rest of my brushes and like I told you guys before all of the styling brushes and combs have um, numbers so like the detangling brush is 427 so that's a special date and then the bristle brush does not have one the um, Ion Round doesn't have one. That's strange. Well, maybe not the, those, but like their Demon brush, this is 407. So, and then this one I really like to use when I'm um, blow drying hair that's like medium to short, but they call it the Sculpting Brush and it's 413. Oh. It's focusing on my daughter's sign. It says, start sharing love. So yeah, that's a note from Layla. But anyway, here's the brush. Yeah, 413 sculpting brush. Then the last thing that's in my kit is this here. This here, what do you think it is? I'm just kidding. You guys, I'm probably pretty sure you know it's clippers. But yeah, so this is my clippers and my trimmers. And we get the guards. Nothing special. We get like eight guards. And um, the brush. And the lube. Yeah. So, guys, that's basically it for my kit. Um... Oh, I did want to show you the other um, tool that I don't put in my kit, but I really like it. This is the curling wand I was telling you guys about that I use more than I use that curling iron. And it came with that set. So this also goes in my kit. It just wasn't in there because sometimes I bring my book bag to school, which also has tools in it. But, but this brush right here is my absolute favorite it reminds me a lot of the blow dry brush that um, one of the sisters from my natural sisters uses or maybe she used to use it I don't know but she shared a video 
of this blow drying brush and it got her hair really straight she was getting ready to like get her ends clipped or something and I was like oh my god I gotta have that so I went out and got it and I did like it but I felt like it may have gotten a little too hot but um when I started school these had like just came out and again I went ahead and got one because it was 50% off and we used it in school because the service desk has certain tools that you can use you just have to check them out and like use I don't know an ID a credit card or phone as leverage or you know something so you don't take the tools home but I used it and fell in love and knew I had to have it so I got it and basically when you you know when you blow dry your hair you're just going like this and it helps smooth it out and get it it's a time saver it saves with like hassle all of that I love this brush blow dryer thing right here so yeah but this isn't necessarily part of my kit I just wanted to show it to you guys because I really love it and they only had it for a limited time so yeah so that's that um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments or anything about the tools that i have please let me know down below i really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos and if you really like my content and just want to follow my journey or any tips that I may have to share with you guys be sure to tap that bell so you can get notifications and I have a blog if you would care to read some of the things that I share it's www.voiceofvera.com or just follow me on Instagram at Vera Janae. I'll have it going down below there. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed day, evening, or night, whichever one it is. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which I will put right over there. Bye. Don't know if you